morning, you guys. So it is the AM and I'm currently making some breakfast. Piggies are all fed and well taken care of. I actually wanted to go ahead and open a package with you guys to start off this little vlog. I actually ordered this from the Floof Forest, who's actually a friend of mine, Kristen. She just recently opened up her own shop, which is really awesome. And she has these little plaques where you can customize them for any of your piggies. And I decided to go ahead and get one for Teddy. I felt like it was only appropriate. Um, also because I wanted to add a little bit more personalization to her shelf. Um, for those of you who don't know, I lost one of my guinea pigs recently. So I'm currently in the process of setting up her little like, shrine, I guess you could say. Um, I still have yet to get her ashes. It's been a little over two weeks, so I should be getting them in the next couple days. Um, if I don't hear back from them, I'm actually gonna give them a call because I feel like I should be able to get them by now. But nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm really, really, really excited. She offers a whole bunch of customizations that you can actually select from, which is really awesome to kind of fit your own aesthetic. I decided to go for something that was a little bit more neutral because that's what I like. Um, and it also just matches, you know, Teddy's fur color really, really well. And this is like so well packaged. Um, we just have the actual sign wrapped up in some tissue paper. And then she has her little sticker, which is so incredibly adorable. It's so cool because it looks like it's iridescent, but it's not. It's the actual design of the pig. Um, and again, it's called the Flu Forest. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll link it down below in her shop. Um, and the sign's actually this big. So it's a, it's a good size sign, which I'm really excited for. Also, if you guys are wondering what looks different about me. Um, I got a haircut, so that's why. My hair looks very short. Um, she ended up cutting it a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but it's like growing on me, so it's okay. All right, so we have a little, I'm like covering it right now. I don't want to see it just yet, so I'm gonna flip it over. We just have a little note. It just says my name on the front, and then on the back it says, thank you so much for your order. I am beyond honored to be able to commemorate Teddy's memory for you. I hope you love your sign as much as I love making it for you. Oh my god, Kristen, you're so sweet. I love you so much. Oh, oh my god, it looks so it looks so good, Kristen. Holy crap. Wow, this is like spot on. I, I just got a little like emotional rush all over my body just then. That was holy crap. Wow. First and foremost, like you package these so well, it's like really nice to know that like, that's the one thing about small businesses, you can always rely on them for like packaging this stuff really nicely. Um, well, not all of them, but like most of them. And this is like one way to do these kinds of things in packaging them. And it really just shows that she's truly caring about, you know, the products that she's putting out there. Wow, this looks so freaking good. I honestly have like nothing to say, like down to just the colors and the patterns of everything. I don't even know if I showed you guys, but here's what it looks like. This is like spot on to Teddy. Like Kristen, you did such a good job. It looks exactly like her, even down to like the, the length of the snout and just the ears. Looks so freaking cool. And I also love the shape of these. You could actually just, even without the ribbon, just like stand these alone, like against the wall or something. Wow, um, I probably will just end up hanging it and getting like a little nail uh, once I get the shelf and everything. I probably will do that in this video, get her actual shelf and stuff. Um, I just gotta find the right one. But um, this is literally going to be the most perfect like addition to her entire shrine to just you know keep her in our memories. She really was the first pig that started this all. So thank you so much, Kristen. Like it seriously means the absolute world to me. Again, guys, if you guys are looking for like really nice, high quality, customizable plaques, um, go check her out. It's called the Flu Forest. I will link it down below um, so you guys can go ahead and support her. It's really nice to see that my friends are actually doing very similar things and like kind of making their way into this community business-wise, but also kind of separating themselves and doing different things like this and just putting their own little spin and twist and uniqueness on these things. So honestly, I commemorate you, Kristen. And again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This like means not only the world to me, but also to Teddy. Like this is perfect for her, so thank you. Alrighty guys, so I just went to my P.O. box because I had a package that I had ordered from one of my um, own friends, followers, customers um, named Veronica. I'm sure you are watching this, but I tried to get this package last night and for some reason my P.O. box key was not working. 
Um, so I decided to go back today, this morning, and it works, shockingly. Um, but I'm very excited for this because it is, yet again, like another representation item of another one of my piggies. But I wanted to really spice up Teddy's shelf and make it look really cute. And if you guys know or don't know, Kyle was actually the pig that I had bought with Teddy from Peko when I first got them. And they've been literally best friends since the beginning of time. And I really just wanted to get something customized to just put Kyle on that shelf too with Teddy. So she kind of has her best friend next to her. So my friend actually makes like custom crochet, like animals and figurines and stuff like that. And I saw that she had posted a cow one time and I was like, I need that so badly because Kyle's nickname that I call her is Cowgirl and it was just only fitting. Um, but I had her actually customize this to do black and white like Kyle's colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up on camera with you guys. I love when I receive like handmade items. It's just so incredibly special to me. I'm gonna take this off. Also, if you guys are interested in ever sending me anything like little postcards or drawings, um, I do have a PO box, which I will link down below or just pop on the screen so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But let's get into this. <gasps> oh my God. So it just says, just wanted to say thank you. The best things in life are handmade, that they are. Oh my God. This is so freaking cute. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. Oh my God, this is freaking adorable. And I love it because it's such a good size. Like it's not anything like super tiny and small, like, and it's packaged really nicely, Veronica. You did so well, holy crap. So let me just go ahead and open it up. I also love this little like thing you put it in. I'm not sure what it's called, but it like showcases it really nicely. Oh my God. Can you just get into this guys? Oh my God, and it's so soft and like filled so nicely. Oh my God, it even has like her little stamp. It says Handmade with Love by Veronica G. So this is like her full setup. This is so cool. So she actually just has a little tie right here which just keeps the cow in there. Got a little freaking tail and the spots and everything. And I was actually talking to her. She sent me a sneak peek of her doing it, um, the product, this. And I love how it looks like a pig slash cow kind of encaptured in like one little cute animal, but it has like this like pig nose. It's literally the most adorable thing ever, not to mention Veronica, you are seriously so talented. It like amazes me the fact that like people can just make things like this just by hand and just, crocheting is so complicated to me and this is just, this is wow, this is incredible. I'm so excited to set up Teddy's shelf because this is going to be literally the perfect addition to it. And also gets me excited to like get other animals made because this is like seriously so adorable. So thank you again to Veronica for making these. Um, I'm not sure if she like sells these or has like an appropriate website that she sells them on, like an Etsy or something. Um, I'm actually going to DM her now so I can like link that on the screen right now or down below so you guys can go ahead and check her out. But wow, thank you so much, Veronica. Alrighty, everyone. So we just got done loading all of the packages inside of the car. Yet again, we've got another entirely filled truck. Um, I actually haven't updated you guys. I put out like a small little 12 inch pee pad collection and it sold out in like less than 20 minutes. So thank you guys so much. Also the Halloween collection is in here, mixed in all these packages as well. So as always, thank you guys for your support. It like shocks me every time we sell out, but we are on our way to the post office. So let's get going there. Um, I also picked up Teddy's ashes. So we'll show you guys that as well when we get home, but I will talk to you guys soon. All right guys, so I am now back home. Um, I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys for a little bit. I actually, um, as I mentioned, when I was in the car, got my ashes of Teddy. It's really nice to finally have her back. Um, they did say that it was gonna take like two weeks to get her back and it was nearing about three weeks. I was patient about it. I didn't wanna like rush them or anything cause maybe there was a lot of animals that passed away and they were busy, I guess you could say. But yeah, I got her nonetheless. So she's back in the pig room, which I feel really good about, um, but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of show you guys. I feel like there's not a lot of people that really show in depth everything when it comes to losing a pet. It's kind of just like a more so they tell you and then you just move on. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys the process, um, kind of give you guys an estimate as to how much things cost when getting a pet cremated and stuff like that. 
Obviously it varies, um, but it's important to know because it's, it's real life. It's what you guys are also going to go through and I'm going to go through with the rest of my piggies. Um, just inevitable. So um, better to be aware of this kind of stuff than not. But when I did lose Teddy, um, as you guys know, I dropped her off at my vet office and that's when they kind of arranged the cremation. I paid about $230, $250, I wanna say, for everything. They gave me her paw prints, like two sets of them using ink and stuff. And then also um, like the standard box, her ashes, and that's pretty much it. Fairly expensive, yes, um, but for the price of having your animal back in your possession in a really nice, way i feel like is really worth it and is also showcasing them really nicely so in my opinion money well spent just says on this little note card that i got from the, the uh, crematory i think that's how you want to say um the paw prints left on your heart will never be forgotten um, and then it just has a little prayer thing um, up at the top and then it says just some stuff um, this is to certify that the beloved teddy cherished by the berlinski family um, has been privately cremated with dignity and respect. And then it's signed off by the person that, that cremated her, which is very reassuring. I don't think it would be a good situation if you ended up with another animal's ashes for that matter. Um, but yeah, it just comes in this cute little bag. It'll obviously be different for everyone else. Um, but here we have her right here. Um, this was the standard box that kind of comes with the cremation. You are able to kind of uh, go through this catalog um, and select if you want something a little bit more fancy, um, different types of wood, but it gets very pricey for doing that kind of stuff. So I just went with the standard box and it's actually surprisingly very nice. Um, it comes with this little locket um, and then a set of keys. So you could just like take this off and then you can actually open it up. Um, I guess just for the sake of, you know, privacy, I don't really want to show you guys um, you know, everything, but inside it just has just some information about, um, you know, where she was cremated, all that kind of stuff, what kind. Um, and then we also just have her, her ashes inside of a baggie. I think it's actually wrapped up inside of some tissue paper right here. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm going to actually open this up and see. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just, just this little, little Ziploc bag of some ashes. Obviously it's a small amount because <laughs> guinea pigs are very small. So I'm just going to go put that back in there and then kind of lock that back up. Um, again, I just feel weird showing you guys her ashes for some reason. Um, it's just kind of like something a little bit more personal to me that I want to keep to myself. Sorry if there's anyone out there that wanted to see that, but, um, yeah, there's some things I just feel a little bit uncomfortable with. Um, then we also have her engraving of her name right on the top. It's very fancy. I really do like this. Did I already lose the keys? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm going to be opening it up, you know, but some people do do that. You know, some people like to spread. Oh, here they are. Um, some people are like some people like to spread the ashes um, in certain places, which I think is really great. Um, but I want to I want to keep her. So I have these keys. I got to put these somewhere safe. I am going to be getting a shelf tomorrow to go up there. Um, where I can actually like have her up there, put her plaque up there, which I opened at the beginning of this vlog. And then also her, um, the, the cow plushie that I got from Veronica um, to kind of have her best friend Kyle next to her. Little shrine, um, something very cute. I feel a lot better over these last couple weeks um, since losing her. Time really does truly heal in these situations. It really does. I can kind of laugh about it and think about the memories and just feel like I'm not empty inside anymore. And I can definitely say that, you know, I'm just focusing on my piggies from here on out, making sure that they're happy, making sure that they're well taken care of. Nothing has changed, um, but my love has definitely grown a lot more for my pigs and the pig room as well. So just a little cheap hack for you guys. If you ever need fleas, come to the thrift store because they have so many options. I found this one and I'm definitely getting it because it's so cute and this one as well, but perfect for turning these into like pee pads and liners. They have a whole bunch of patterns and also not to mention they're like incredibly cheap. $3.49 for a solid navy blue. So I think I'm actually gonna just make a video out of this for you guys. This one's kind of cool, a little bit too thin though, but like so many options. And they also have like towels if you can't afford U-Haul. And you can actually use that in between the layers of the pee pads and stuff like that. But yeah, this is another great hack. I'm getting this one for sure. So I am getting ready to hang up my shelf 
for Teddy's Ashes right up there. I picked up this shelf from Home Depot. It is 24 inches long and also just solid white. And it's about this thick as well. I wanted to get something that was like relatively big so I could fit everything really nicely. And also something that was really wide just in case like, I don't know, the pigs were running around really crazily and it didn't knock off anything. So this will hold everything, you know, nice and secure. And then I also have my drill right here so we can make sure everything is nice and secure. So let's go ahead and start hanging this up. Oh my God, it comes with this. That's a game changer. I love a template for nails. Okay, and instructions. That's in Spanish. Let's go to the English side. There we go. I decided I wanted to actually put her shelf over here, but I am currently going through the wall with my stud finder and it's giving me the you know notification where there's actually electric behind this. And that's the last thing that I wanna screw into. So yeah, I don't wanna risk it. So I think we're gonna to have to try the other side. That's why it's like super important to have one of these because we do not wanna get electrocuted. So let's try this side over here. All right, um, we gotta make sure that we're on the same level now. Like this. Let's try this out. And I feel like this should be a little bit better. There's electric there. God, the pigs really don't like that sound. They're like going crazy. Yikes. Okay, well we can't put it on these two walls. I'm not risking it. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go back to that one. All right, one second guys. So the shelf has been installed. We ended up using the initial wall that I thought we would. I guess it happened for a reason that we couldn't use those because this is also a really nice like entrance just to like see Teddy. And also it's a nice view over her herd so she can look after them. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So right here we have my plushie, my cow plushie of Kyle that Veronica made me. So freaking cute and I love that it stands up as well. Again, we have the shelf from Home Depot. Perfect, perfect size. And again, I can still add more stuff. It is looking a little empty, so I definitely wanna add maybe like a fake plant, a real photo of her, something to just kind of make it feel a little bit more complete. Even some like string lights could look really nice, so I may do that. And then we have her plaque from the Flu Forest, which I opened up at the beginning of this vlog, which looks so good. I just hung it up there with a little tack and nail. And then we have her ashes as well with the keys on top. Everything just looks so freaking nice, and I'm so happy that we're able to honor Teddy really nicely and in a cute way and just having her back in the pig room and especially just looking after all of her piggies is just really, really nice. So I am so happy with this. If you guys do have suggestions on how to make this look even cuter, please let me know. I think it would be nice to kind of get some surrounding artwork to kind of go around here just to fill up the space a little bit more because I definitely want to make this room even cuter. I am thinking about actually replacing this light because it doesn't give me enough lighting when I'm filming in here. This is also very, very yellow. Compared to that, that's like a pure white. So I do need to get more like white lighting. And then I kind of want to get like lights that go towards the back over there, maybe even up here. I want to make a bunch of upgrades to this room and just make it look even better. Eventually just get rid of <laughs> this scenario, maybe even move Ollie towards the back, bring the silver table here. Something's going to happen. Um, if I do make any changes, I definitely will film it for you guys. So the pigs are doing really, really, really well. Um, everyone's kind of just sleeping right now. They're going to go crazy and like give or take an hour because it's going to be veggie time soon, but everyone's just having their evening nap. 
I had to actually cover this like this, it looks crazy because Billy was actually really scared of the stud finder beeping and also uh, Willow was as well and Vision, um, but Willow was chirping before. So that was a sign that she was very, very scared. So I apologize to her. Yeah, everything's done now. It's all set up, so we're good to go. But I'm actually gonna move this back and hopefully, yeah, you guys can tell, I'm sorry, Billy. He's like so scared right now. So I gotta give him like, <laughs> couple minutes or an hour to like adjust to being back to normal. This pig room has been looking like a hot mess as of lately. Like I just have things thrown and I feel like we just cleaned this room. It takes no time at all to get it really messy just with having so many piggies and doing a full cage cleanings, which explains the trash bags. Uh, cages are gonna have to get a nice spot clean uh, in a bit. Also, Ollie, I notice has to have his pee pads changed every single day because the little man <laughs> does not leave this tunnel and they get super wet from all the pee and poop. So I've been doing that every single night, just changing this out, which is crazy that I have to do it that much. But again, Baldwin pigs pee and poop a lot more and especially when they're not leaving like a specific spot. Let me actually just move this out of the way so I can show you guys. I ended up actually going to my farm today and also a new one. I passed this one on my way home and I've never seen it before. And I was like, you know what? Let me actually give it a try and see what kind of hay quality they have. And I must say it's not my favorite. Um, I ended up actually having to mix my normal farm hay with theirs because it was just way too crunchy and it was also a little bit yellow which I didn't like but this seems a little bit more like first cut which I'm not a fan of I like more softer and lush hay it's still good like it's nice to have little crunchy bits but um yeah for the most part the whole entire thing is just very crunchy so that's why I kind of mixed it up to kind of give them a little bit more variety the hay that I got this month for my farm is like jam-packed with heads which I know the pigs are going to be happy about because that's their favorite part ever but it's not so bad with having it mixed up with the uh bad hay and then the good hay. I'm not, I'm not shocked, but hay is so inconsistent. It really is so hard to just keep buying good bale after good bale. I remember one month when I had the most amazing bale ever. The pieces were just so good. No dust, long strands, plenty of heads. It was so freaking good. And I have yet to get another bale that was that good, but fingers crossed, hopefully one day. But I just gave some to the pigs and they actually were seeming to enjoy it. So as long as the pigs are happy, I'm happy. So that is gonna be it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and my piggies and also subscribe to more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye guys.